I'm going to post this up on YouTube um, tomorrow. And I'm going to pass it to Bree. She's going to start by talking about this month and what we can do to utilize this month right now. Okay. So if you guys have any questions or any additional ideas, put it in the comments and we will get to that at the end or as we go. So, okay. There you go, Bree. Here I am. To church. <laughs> okay, you guys. Happy Tuesday. Happy True Life Dream Team chat. I am really, really excited actually about this. We came up with um, talking about the transition portion of the season that we are in. And it is so, so exciting, you guys. But the one thing that we do want to just touch on, as excited as we are about the new catalog, we do want to touch on the reality that we still have like five days left in fall and winter. Um, and there is still a lot to be had. So if you are looking at your PRV and you're getting pumped up for February and what February is going to bring, there is nothing wrong with that because I'm literally going to talk about front loading. So like there, that is so important, but recognizing that the month's not over yet. And we talk about going, going, going until the very last minute, until you are completely satisfied you have exhausted all avenues of PRV, of sponsoring, of booking parties, of solidifying any last minute things that you can for this month. We want to make sure that you guys take advantage of. And this is not just like a normal end of month, right? We're saying goodbye to an entire catalog. And while everything is not going away, we do have a lot of things going away um, and things that you should be taking advantage of as a consultant with your customers to let them know, hey, your stuff is going away. We're saying goodbye to these warmers, to these scents, and we may never see them again. That's just the reality. Of course, obviously, we probably, hopefully, will see winterberry apple tea and vanilla mint again in the future because those are my jam. But um, on the off chance that we don't, I want to make sure that I secure them for me and my customers. And do you know how to do that? Because you should. And if you don't, then you need to really hone in on how that can be implemented into your business and how you can be sharing that with your customers. Because at the end of the day, you are the consultant, you are the sensi person, you are the go-to for your customers and you need to be providing them with all of this information, okay? So got five days left. Obviously, Sensi has done us a great favor by adding that last chance part of your PWS. And so you can literally go with your customers to that last chance section and see all of the things that are leaving this catalog season. And that's a huge benefit. I don't, I don't know that we had that last season. Um, but I can tell you that that makes it so easy to let your customers know and point them in the direction of what's leaving and not have to rely on sending out a discontinued list. And so obviously we're very short on time at this point. So when you are doing your follow-ups for the next four or five days with your customers, I would suggest copying that link from your PWS and sending that in your follow-up messages and saying, hey, want to take a quick glance at this, make sure that nothing you love is going away. Nothing you've been wanting to snag is here in this section, because if it is, then you need to grab it now because it will be gone as of February 1st or sooner, right? All of that stuff is while supplies last. So we could see those things start to disappear at a rapid rate because consultants and customers are alike, see that clock that is ticking and are going to want to stock up. So do not, do not let um, your customers go without their stuff because you're not doing your job by letting them know, hey, it's going away. So you've got that last chance section on your PWS at a minimum, you guys, like that is so easy to just copy, send to your customers, copy, um, throw it up on your VIP, on your Instagram. You can do the screen record, however you want to let your customers know, make sure that they are aware that section is there for them to utilize and for you to utilize as a consultant, okay? Um, and with that being said, like I said, there's a, there is a ton of things that are going away that are my favorites. And like I mentioned, winterberry, apple tea, vanilla mint, those scents are my jam. And so the fact that they're going away, you better believe that I'm going to be talking about them to my customers. And in that, I'm also going to be spending a day or two showcasing some of my favorite things that are disappearing from this catalog, including those two scents. And I'll get more into like why the wax particularly matters and how you can utilize that to your benefit. But things in general, like the, um, 
the there's a couple warmers that I really love that I've been sitting on thinking maybe I should get them. I'm going to be showcasing them to my customers because maybe I have customers that have been wanting to get those warmers. So maybe pick five or 10 items out of that and spend the next couple of days scheduling posts in the midst of you showcasing new stuff, if that's what you choose to do. Um, in the midst of that, I'm going to be showcasing these things to my customers to let them know and highlighting, hey, Winterberry apple tea, this is the scent of the season, you guys. This is the scent that everybody loves, everybody talks about. It is going away. So if you love it in your pods, um, scent circles, all that stuff, now is the time to get it. And so um, it makes for very easy content for you to find some real life pictures because this stuff has been available for six months now. Real life pictures of these items and throw them into your VIP, showcase them on your Instagram, wherever you do business and let your customers know this item is a hot commodity and it's going away. Okay. So showcasing products, Alex is going to talk about how we do that with a new catalog, but don't discount it for utilizing it for these next four or five days. Let your customers see how beautiful these things are and that they will be disappearing because we may not see the antique cross warmer again. Okay. Um, and so let your customers know that you love these things and you're not ready to say goodbye. Okay. <clears throat> The other cool thing that maybe some of you guys don't know is um, available to you on your workstation is inside your reporting tab, there's a sales report. So literally, if you log into your workstation, you go to the reporting tab and then you go to, to sales report, there is a thing called a product history. So if you're like, okay, I really want to hone in on my top five favorite scents that are leaving um, because I want to get people hooked on Scentsy Club and I'm going to talk about that. But if you know that you have customers who do love winterberry apple tea or vanilla mint and you really want to focus on them you can literally go into that product history and type in winterberry apple tea and it will show you the customers who have ordered it okay so that gives you a very focused area of your business that you can spend the next four or five days following up with those customers and letting them know hey sally i know that you ordered winterberry apple tea back in um october did you love it if you did or if you already know that she loved it um, I just want to let you know that it's going away on February 1st. Did you want to stock up on some more bars? 10% off. Or better yet, if you're really not ready to say goodbye, we have the Sensi Club. Okay, so you can pick items from the discontinued list and literally type them into that search bar and it will show you all the customers who have ordered them. Obviously, if you are newer, that list may be shorter, it may be non-existent for you, but especially for you older custom or you older consultants, this list is a huge value, okay? This list could span over years and that's a huge benefit to your business. Um, and this list comes out multiple times. Sometimes we have a bring back my bar list, so it'll show you customers who have ordered particular scents. So always be looking into this section of your workstation because it has a lot of really great information that you can then utilize and you can even export, um, export, what the heck? Um, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Uh, you can take you can take it out of workstation and put it into like Excel or whatever, and then print it out. And so then you can just be sitting in your bed, watching Netflix and chilling and following up with your customers. Okay. Um, and a focused follow-up. So for some of you who feel like follow-ups is super overwhelming, this is a great way to say, okay, I am focusing on my favorite three cents and I am just focusing on those customers who love them too. And I know exactly what I'm going to say, right? The scent is going away. Are you interested in ordering more this month or continuing to get it beyond in the wax bar through Scentsy Club? Okay, so focus in, okay? We only have four to five days. We're, we don't have time to be scattered, unfortunately, okay? So give yourself permission to be super honed in on these things and do everything you can to provide good customer service and um, make the most out of January, right? Because we do still have time left. So that leads me to Sensi Club. Okay. Super easy transition into Sensi Club. This is what is so great about a catalog transition is that Sensi Club is the perfect gateway into um, residual PRV. Okay. You are going to continually get PRV from those customers who you have conversations with about Sensi Club and not only just have conversations and say, hey, this program is available, but you let them know the specific benefits that benefit them. Okay. So 
obviously we have the always get my bar feature, but I'm talking about those customers who love their counter clean. I have a customer who always orders laundry liquid and counter clean. And I've talked to her about the Sensi Club and I am committed to getting her on a Sensi Club. But the reality of it is, is that those even aside from the always get my bar feature, the club benefits so many people. Okay. But during a catalog transition, obviously it's a no brainer because we've got the always get my bar feature, which means, especially for you new consultants, the always get my bar feature means that you can throw any scent that is currently available into your Sensi club. And even after it gets discontinued, it sells out. We go into a catalog transition and it goes away. Sensi will still continue to make that scent for you in bar form forever and ever, as long as it's in your club. Okay. Now there are some restrictions with this. Like I said, it has to be available to everybody at that time, minus the clearance section. And once you put bars in there, however many you put in there, once that scent goes away, you can only then decrease the amount of bars. You cannot increase it. Okay. So make sure, and all of that stuff is readily available to find out on your workstation. So make sure that you do your research about Sensi Club. It is very easy to find. You just type in Sensi Club. Um, but the reality of it is, is that the always get my bar feature should be a major highlight of the conversations that you are having with your customers and that you should be highlighting on all of your social media at at this point okay because you have customers who love scents that will be going away at the end of this month and letting them know that they can get that scent maybe it's just two bars every three months okay but that's still prv that you'll be able to count on and that's still at the end of the day a happy customer who is receiving something that she would have not otherwise received had you not let her know about this huge benefit to her and then on top of that obviously since the club has the benefits of the 10 percent off and the half off item once you reach certain um, uh, uh, monetary peaks in it. Um, but there are so many benefits to Sensi Club. And so with that, I implore you to look into creating a Sensi Club for yourself. And right now is the perfect time to do that because I know every single one of you has a bar that is going away that you really love, that you're not ready to say goodbye to. So throw a bar or two into, your, into a club that you create and then show your customers. Show your customers how simple it is. Go live with it, okay? Bring up your laptop, get your phone, show your customers. I'm creating a club because I'm not ready to say goodbye to Vanilla Mint. I don't want to miss out on this opportunity to get it every three months. I'm going to create a club and get 10% off because I'm going to spend $30. Um, I'm going to create a club and spend $60 and get my whiff box that I want for February half off. Okay. So all of that should be showcased to your customers. And when it comes to the Sensi Club, I think that there is a huge benefit to you being your best Sensi Club representative, right? How do you know the ins and outs of Sensi Club? How do you learn how it works? How do you reap the benefits of it without doing it first? Okay. And make it as simple as possible, make it as inexpensive as possible, whatever you can do in the realms of what you can afford um, or what feels comfortable to you, do that, but then share it with your customers. Okay. This is a monumental um, business asset that can be just giving, breathing life into your business when it comes to PRV. You guys, this, this past month, January, I had over 700 PRV come from Sensi Club alone. 700 PRV came from Sensi Club. Okay. And I have a pretty hefty Sensi, Sensi Club myself for my own benefit, but you best believe every time it comes in, I go live either on my Instagram or I take pictures and show it on my, on my um, VIP because I want my customers to see. I'm not asking you to do something I'm not willing to do, first of all. And second of all, I love it so much that I had to do it because I love this stuff and I want to be able to get my bars or whatever as much as possible. Okay. So be your own best representative when it comes to the Sensi Club and really explore the benefits so that in turn, you can become the Sensi Club expert and transition time is, I'm telling you, the perfect time to do it because you literally have such an easy way to bring it up to your customers. It's not talking about Sensi Club out of the blue. You literally have the always get my bar feature that will benefit so many of your customers, but they will never ask, they will never know, and they will never create one if you don't first talk about it and ask about it and bring it up in follow up or however conversations transpire, okay? And I'm going to also say, as a side note, throwing a post up on social media or your VIP is not enough. 
Okay, um, we all know how Facebook can be wonky with algorithms. Instagram is the same. So don't think you're going to throw up a Sensi Club post and have it be smooth sailing and you're going to get $700 worth of orders from Sensi Club by doing that. Okay, you have to put in a little bit of legwork when it comes to the Sensi Club, but understand that you do the work in the beginning and it continues to pay off later over and over and over again. The, that one conversation, that one follow-up message and explaining how Sensi Club works, they sign up for a Sensi Club and it pays off for months and months and months. Okay, so you do have to put in the work initially. Um, you do have to make that investment, whether it's time or maybe it's money by creating your own. You do have to make that investment initially, but I promise you that residual PRV, you'll be, you'll be thanking me later, okay? Um, so moving on. Um, uh, wait, no, I think, I think that is, I think that is my part for the transition part as far as what we have left in the four to five days um, that's coming. So if you guys have any questions, um, you can let me know. I will say one thing because I'm I'm thinking that it's happening over here for our new people and maybe people who haven't experienced Sensi Club before. The always get my bar feature is specific to bars. Okay, it's right there in the title. If it's, if you like go, go mango is going away in the cleaning stuff. Okay. You cannot put in a go, go mango counter clean right now and expect to get it in February. The always get my bar feature only applies to scents that are in the bars currently, and then they'll make it for you forever and ever. Okay. So don't think you can put in any products and you'll get it forever. So again, that comes with education. You need to educate yourself about the Sensi Club and um, doing your own research, but it also could come with you creating your own Sensi Club and figuring it out that way. Okay. So there's my little spiel. I will be back shortly, but there's my spiel about how to utilize this time we have left with what we have. Okay. Thanks, girl. Um, yeah, I mean, so much information there, but like that is the truth, okay? We have a lot, sorry, I have to turn the slide off, makes my eyes look so funky. We have a lot of time left to be, in my opinion, personally reaching out to our customers with those targeted messages, right? Like, hey, I know you love, um, you know, winterberry apple tea and you stocked up on it all season. Like, now is your chance to either stock up on a few six packs or add it to your Sensi Club because we just don't know, right? Um, and that's how I get the majority of my Sensi Club customers is of course talking about it consistently, not just once every few months, but every month I talk about it, but then I have those personal conversations. So I think it's just a really good reminder that we still have time to be doing that, okay? But I'm gonna um, fast forward a little bit and talk about front loading. If you know me, you know I'm huge on front loading and what this means if you're new here or if you're not familiar with the term is it's basically you are setting yourself up for your upcoming month, okay? Um, I never think it's a good idea to go into a new month and you have no idea where your next round of PRV is coming from. It's not a good feeling um, because you, if you're like me, you have goals and um, you know PRV goals specifically. And so if I'm going into a month and I have no orders pending to be placed, if I have no parties booked, if I have no idea where I'm getting my PRV from, that is not a good position to be in to successfully run my business. And so I like to front load my calendar before the new month to ensure that I have things um, PRV coming and I know where I'm getting my PRV from. Okay. And of course, um, you know, you can add things in and change things up during the month, but you should at least know, like, when are you closing your first order? Right. Um, for me personally, I always close an order on the first of every month. That is something I've been doing for years now. It's a way that I front loaded my business to the best of my ability to where I am getting my PRV in as much as I can at the beginning of the month and then everything at the end is just a bonus, okay? But like the bulk of my PRV goes in within the first two weeks of the month and specifically on the first of the month, okay? And how I do this, specifically when we have like a new collection, like in the fall when we have the harvest or the holiday collection or a new catalog, these are really easy ways, in my opinion, um, if you are working it, it's an easy way to get orders to place on the first, okay? And so what I'm actually going to be talking to you about 
first is how I am showcasing the new catalog products and also collecting pre-orders for them to then enter on the first, okay? Um, and so what this means is I'm not, like there's not a pre-order system on the workstation where someone says like, oh, I want the, um, you know, the letterboard warmer. And so I put in a like official pre-order on the workstation for a letterboard warmer. That's not what I mean when I say pre-order. There are situations where Sensi does a pre-order, but this is not that, okay? What this simply means is my customer is interested and I'm collecting their order to place it on the first, okay? And so I'm gonna to talk to you about how I showcase these items and also how I do collect these pre-orders, okay? Um, and the first thing that you need to understand when we're talking about collecting pre-orders is you need to look at yourself and look or think about how your business works, right? Um, so for me, I have a lot of local customers and I have a lot of non-local customers. So collecting pre-orders looks different for every customer, right? Some customers are local, so they get free shipping and some customers are not local, so they don't get free shipping. So it's very important that you understand what shipping tiers are, how much to charge shipping, how to do shipping and taxes. Um, and that's definitely something if you are not familiar with, you should ask, you should chat with your sponsor, you should look up the word shipping on your workstation. Um, it is very simple, but it is something that you have to learn to be able to give correct totals, to be able to um, to collect the right amount of funds because you don't want to have to continuously cover for must, like billing mistakes that you make or whatever. So it's very important that you're informed on how your business works, how you're placing orders. So for me, I have a goal on the first of every month to close an order, okay? And that is a combination of local orders and non-local orders together in one party, right? And um, so to do this, I showcase items and I let my customers know I'm closing an order first thing on uh, February 1st. Let me know if you need anything and I'll add it to my pre-order list. Okay. And I just say that all the time. Like I showcase the item and I say, let me know if you want this. I'll add it into my order going in first thing on the first. Right. And I just mention it again and again, and it gets my customers into that habit. It's a system that I'm creating for my customers. This is how they know to place an order is to let me know. And I will order it for them on the first, regardless if they're paying shipping or not. I take care of that in personal conversation. I don't say like, let me know if I need to ship it to you. It's eight dollars. And if you're local, it's free. I don't say that. I just let me know if you want me to order it on the first and I'll take care of it. Okay, so right now in my customer group, I am doing a showcase of the new catalog. Okay, so I have my own personal catalog here. By the end of the season, it's going to be all beat up, maybe like some pin marks in it. Um, I always have one personal catalog. I keep it on my desk. Okay, and what I'm doing is every day I'm sharing a new category of products one by one. Okay, and I let my customers know. I pump them up. I'm like, today's the day. I'm going to start showcasing the new spring and summer catalog. It's so beautiful. If you need anything at all, I'm going to be placing it. You guys already know I'm going to be placing an order first thing on uh, February 1st. Let me know if you need anything at all and I'll add your goodies in for you, okay? And then I say, okay, first up, starting with the warmers. And what I did this morning is I went to our marketing section of the workstation and I typed in the name of all the new warmers and I saved these pictures. And you guys, shout out to Sensi. Have you guys seen the new marketing images we have this catalog season? Like they're gorgeous. They are absolutely gorgeous. They're not a digital image sitting in a the background. They are real life catalog pictures sitting in a real life kitchen or a real life area and they are beautiful. Okay, guys, I, I, 100% am an advocate for real life pictures. Um, I you'll never, ever, ever see me post a flyer. I just don't do it. Um, I love real life pictures when possible. And so um, I always really struggled with the marketing images, but they changed how they're doing them and they are beautiful, you guys. And they're real life pictures and you can see the details and they're beautiful. So um, today, this morning, I knew I was going to do a warmer showcase and I typed the names in of all the new um, warmers. And then I just scheduled posts throughout the day. So um, I started with 
the warmers that are returning, like the letter board, the uh, be kind or the kindness warmer, the glimmer and glow. I started with those because I have lots of pictures of those. And then I went with the beach. I did five pictures of the new beach warmers that we have. And I'm like calling all beach lovers like these ones are for you. And then I listed the name, talked about what I loved about it and the price for all five warmers. And then like, let me know if you need any of these. These are going to sell like hotcakes, closing my order first thing on February 1st. Next up, look at this new warmer, blah, 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 blah. Literally one by one, or, or I would put two in a post, but I would talk about them. Not just like, these are the new warmers. $50. Like, no, like I shared what I love about them. I love the texture on these warmers. I love the glow. I love the, um, vibe, the India vibe. Like I love, um, you know, the contrast of black and white. I talked about why I loved these warmers. Like I gave my customers because you guys, if you were at SFR, you remember stories connect with people. Right. And so I'm telling them like, this would go perfect in, um, you know, in farmhouse decor, look at how the light shines and it's a sun, a sunshine. You guys, did y'all see that warmer? The um, country sunshine, it has like the little um, heat slits in the back that when it's on, it like projects a sunshine. Okay, how cute, right? And so I made sure to point that out and talk about it. And you guys, people love that. People can envision those warmers in your home, in their homes, when you do a good job explaining that, right? So one by one over the course of all day, even right now, like I have a post scheduled in nine minutes to go showcasing the new warmers for the catalog season, right? So fun. I'm getting my um, VIP group hyped up. Additionally, on my Instagram stories this morning, I'm like, today's the day. I'm showcasing my new catalog. If you're in my VIP group, like be on the lookout. If you're not in my VIP group, like vote on this poll and I'll add you into my VIP group. I have three people join my VIP group today just from that. Okay. So, and then tomorrow is Wednesday, Wax Wednesday. I took those beautiful pictures from the new season sales kit. I'm going to post a picture of all the bars, right? Tomorrow. And then I'm going to say, you know, favorite scents, everyone's favorite part of the new catalog today. I'm going to be showcasing some, um, some of our, all of our new fragrances coming, right? And one by one, I'm going to give the scent description and then like give a description on what I think. Like, I love this scent. It's very earthy right up my alley. If you love saddle up, vanilla oud, whatever you would love vanilla waves, right? And then at the end, like while my kids are napping and my kids are at school, I'm probably going to do like a, I'm going to do my makeup, do my hair, probably going to do a video, like not a live, just a video of me smelling all the bars and then schedule it to post like this time tomorrow, because most people are on Facebook between eight and 10 PM. Okay. So I'm going to post my video tomorrow. I'm going to throw in a post about cotton cleanups because whack cotton cleanups. Right. And then on Thursday, I'm going to be talking about the new diffuser, the new oils, the wall fans, the new pods. Do you understand? I'm going item, item by item. And I'm letting my customers know this is the price. This is what's new. This is why I love it. This is the feeling it will give you. Um, this is how much it is. And I'm placing an order on the first. Let me know if you want it. Okay. One by one, I'm showcasing the items. Now, if a customer says I need that warmer and I need these bars and it's like $60, right? So, and they're local, I know that's $64.95 with taxes. So what I do when people give me their orders, right? They comment like, Oh my God, I need this. And I message them back like, okay, cool. I'm going to text you. And then I text them like, girl, I love that warmer too. Did you need any bars? Here's the new sense, right? They're like, yeah, I need bars. Awesome. Did you need anything else? Yeah, I need this. Great, right? I'm having a personal conversation. I'm like, let me get you your total. Okay. I write it down on the order form. I put the date on here, 2-1-21. I keep it on my desk with my other ones. So I know on the first, these are the orders I'm placing. So on Sunday, when I'm getting everything organized, I know these are the orders I'm placing. And she pays me Venmo. So I write on here, Venmo paid. Right. I give them their total and I say your total is sixty four ninety five. dollars uh, You can PayPal me or Venmo me um, whenever I just need it by Sunday. And they're like, OK, I'll send it over right now. OK, super easy. It's not anything um, that has to be crazy. If you have to ship it, generally speaking, you add eight dollars and then tax on top of the eight dollars. OK, 
Um, if it's over $80, then it's 10%. So a $90 order would be $9 shipping. A $120 order would be $12 shipping, then tax. So go shipping, then tax. So you give them their total, you try to upsell, you collect their order, and then on Sunday, you get everything together and you determine, okay, how much PRV do I have? What am I going to get with my free and half off credits? And you come up with a game plan. And then when this catalog goes live, if you choose to wake up in the middle of the night and place your orders, or if you choose to do it in the morning, when they go live, you will have PRV to enter on the first. Okay. You will have the PRV to enter on the first. And if your customer is giving you like $120 worth of products, you have many places to go with that. You could bump it up to 200 so they get $20 in free credit and half off item. You could mention the join kit to them. Um, you could throw in an extra goodie for them themselves because they're helping you reach those um, awesome tiers of rewards, right? Um, but you guys, it's a combination of showcasing items and then pulling them into personal conversations where you seal the deal. Okay. But you have to do that by consistently reminding them like, this is what's happening. This is what's beautiful. These are the specs. This is how it'll make you feel. And I'm placing an order on the first. So let me know if you want something. And by doing this consistently, it will get your customers in such a habit of ordering with you at such an ease for them. Okay. They're not having to chase you down. They're not having to do all the things. You're not forgetting about them. They're not forgetting about you. And additionally, and I know Brie probably feels the same way, but when you create such a awesome culture in your VIP group, like put in the comments, if you love your VIP group and your VIP group is awesome, like you are proud of the culture you've got going in your VIP group. When you have this awesome culture in your VIP group and you are developing systems, like your customers don't even know this is a system for ordering. They just know this is how you do it. This is this easy. This is easy. My consult, I just got a comment here and my consultant's going to message me. Okay. You will also find that when it comes up on your Amy app, like follow up with this person, follow up with this person, follow up with this person, you can just check done because you are in contact with your customer. You guys are commenting back and forth. You guys are having conversations. You know, if your customer needs something, they will order with you. Okay. Of course, it's still great to check in like, Hey, how, how'd you love that squeeze a day counter clean? Sure. But you know, in general, like they are seeing my stuff. We are interacting. I'm not, they don't, they're not wondering if I'm a consultant. They're not wondering if I've forgotten about them. Like they know. And that's a really awesome feeling, especially I'm five years in y'all. I have a lot of customers. Okay. It's a good feeling to know that my VIP group is healthy and that I'm building trust and relationships in there. Okay. It's a fun place to be. And I love my VIP group. Like literally guys, when I'm on Facebook, I'm literally on our team page or in my VIP group. Truly, I'm mostly in my VIP group and then on my team page, our team page, okay? Like my VIP group is my happy spot. Like I love it. They love Sensi. I love Sensi. We share Sensi, right? Like I get to introduce them to new things. They trust me, right? They support my family, it's, it's a beautiful place to be. And so when you are consistently doing the same thing over and over again, AKA systems, like whenever we have a new collection launching, you do a showcase. We have those two new buddies launching on Monday. So over the weekend, like that's what I was showcasing. And during the week when we don't have things happening, you know, I'm showcasing my favorite counter clean, changing my wax, my laundry love bundle, um, things like that. But whenever we have something new, I'm showcasing it the exact same way every time. Guess what? We have this coming over the next few days. I'm going to showcase it. This is what it is. I'm placing an order then. Let me know if you want it. And it's just seamless. And it's a really beautiful way to work my business, honestly. Brandy, I totally agree. If you don't have these feelings about your VIP group, evaluate what you can be doing differently. And the thing is, it's like, you can change it. You can change it. It's consistency though right? Like you cannot, pardon my French, but you cannot half-ass your VIP group. Like you're either in it or you're not. And if you're in it, then you need to be in it like every day, every day. Don't be salesy. Like it's a lifestyle blog. Think of it as a lifestyle blog. You're sharing Sensi in your everyday life. 
Okay. Hey, Laura, I have people that don't interact too. I really do. I know Bree does. I know everyone does because it's, it's just normal, but they're watching. Okay. Um, and I always say, if you are not getting a lot of interaction in your VIP group, like chill a little bit, post a picture of your dinner, ask for chicken recipes, um, ask for advice, dude. People love giving advice, ask for advice, post a funny meme, do something completely not sensey related and do it in the evening because that's when everyone's on Facebook. Okay. Jessica says polls are great too. Her VIP group is awesome. And I know she does do the polls a lot. Okay. And that's a very true point. You cannot expect your customers to love your VIP group if you don't love it yourself. Where you put attention to is where your business will grow. Promise you guys that. Okay. So if you feel like your VIP group is lacking or you want it to be better, put your attention into it and it will. Okay. But in addition to personal, like working your business outside of your VIP group also. That is huge. Okay. You need to make sure you're following up, you're booking parties, you're having joint conversations. Okay. One thing you have said before, Alex, is that you make your VIP group like a blog. I do the same. Yes. And honestly, like that, that in itself, like I tell all my new people that like, it's a life, treat it like a lifestyle blog, right? Like share your everyday life. Do not be salesy. Do not post flyers. Okay. Like it's attraction marketing. We have a lifestyle brand and we can very easily, we use the products. We have products for every part of your life, for everybody in your life, including pets and kids. Okay. Like if we're using our products, we have content to share. We just have to remember that we're selling a feeling. We're selling a story. It's so beyond the product, you guys. It's so beyond the product. It's about the way it makes you feel, the way it makes your home, the way it looks, the way it smells. It's about the feeling, okay? Matched with gratitude. When you are sharing gratitude with your VIP group consistently, um, they really feel connected to you. So like at least once a week, I make sure I make a post. Like I just wanted to extend my heart to you guys and say thank you so much for supporting my business and supporting my dream and always cheering me on and giving me grace. It means so much to my family. I literally say it once a week because I feel it. I feel that way. It's so important. And I'm kind of getting off on a tangent, but I, I truly do believe that um, your VIP group is a very important spot in your business. It's not everything, but I'll tell you, especially in the fall, outside of my Facebook parties that I was doing, like 90% of my PRV was coming from my VIP group. I mean, even this month, I would say 90% of my PRV came from my VIP group. I follow up. I have personal conversations. Customers do come to me, like my my own customers, not random people. Like my own customers message me and say they need something. Sure, but maybe 10%. 90% of my customers and my PRV is coming from my VIP group because that is just the the culture that I've created and the systems that I've created with making ordering easy, easier. Consistency is key. I get some interaction, but I mix it up and they chat. Share my grandbabies and they love it. Yep. They love, oh, dude, people love babies. I tell you babies and kids. And just like you sharing how much you love them. People, people love it. They eat it up. Yes. That's so awesome. Oh, that's cool. That's cool, Morgan. Oh, what's for dinner? See, that's awesome. I was doing that a little bit too at the beginning of the month. I was like always posting my dinner and they really loved it. And we were sharing recipes back and forth. People were commenting on other people's comment like, oh, that sounds so good. I'm going to make that. Yeah. Goal. Don't be salesy. Yes, Brie, I think that's 100% a huge truth is that Facebook and just online in general has become such an icky place to be. It's not fun. And so if you have a fun, safe spot, like they, like, do you guys have groups on Facebook that you gravitate towards? You just are always in certain groups because it just feels fun. You like the content, like people make you laugh or it's valuable. That is your VIP group for some people, you know? So 
totally on a tangent, I really think we could have a whole training on VIP groups and maybe we should. Okay. Um, because I feel like I, I could talk about it forever. I really do. Um, but let's reel it back in and talk about, um, showcasing showcasing catalog items you have plenty of time to do this for the rest of the week okay start tomorrow hype them up start with warmers you could do warmers and wax tomorrow you could do diffusers oils and fan products and pods on thursday friday i think i'm doing cleaning body um laundry and fragrance flowers saturday i've got like birthday parties and kids stuff so i'm going to do kids and licensed products and on sunday i'm going to share my favorite things the things i'm getting um, figuring out my pre-orders and taking some time with my family, right? I'm going to schedule a lot of those posts. So um, just know that you can do that. You can create new systems in your business to collect orders, okay? Um, and I am a total huge advocate for showcasing items and collecting pre-orders that way. It works really well for me, okay? Um, so that's that. Brie and Jess say they do a good morning post. I do a good morning post too, every day. Sometimes it's my coffee cup. Sometimes it's a quote. Sometimes it's a funny picture, whatever it is. You know, it's just, just a thing I do, right? Um, okay, so I'm gonna pass it actually to Brie. Brie is gonna talk about some business tools we can utilize and um, booking parties for the new catalog. And then I've got some reminders and questions and stuff if we have them. So. Okay, Brie, there you go. All right. Okay, so I'm back. Hi. Um, okay, utilizing your business tools. So I know it may feel like we're like, wait, what do I do? Talk about the old stuff, talk about the new stuff. Only you can figure that out in your business, right? Like, so like, I don't... Um, don't get overwhelmed with all of that, okay? T after we get off this call, or maybe you're sitting there doing it now, pull out your planner, pull out whatever device that you use and just make it as simple as possible. Maybe you're like, okay, I'm just gonna spend tomorrow talking about the um, stuff that's going away. And then I'm gonna spend the rest of the time doing the other things, okay? And, and showcasing the new stuff, that's fine. Or if you're just going to do the old stuff and follow-ups, that is okay too, but don't make it complicated for yourself. But it is important that you recognize that you do have two big avenues that benefit your business in two very different ways, right? When we're talking about January PRV and, and solidifying that, and then talking about um, February 1st and how you front load your calendar, not just for PRV, but for booking parties and all that kind of stuff. So when we are talking about February and all the things that are to come, obviously we have business tools that have come out. Um, some of you snagged some new season sales kits, some of you got stickers, some of you, um, or hopefully all of you have gotten some tester or yeah, gotten your testers, catalogs, showcase brochures, product sheets, whatever, um, whatever you were able to get it, maybe you have all of it. Maybe you only have a couple of things. I promise you, you can make your business pop off with whatever you have, okay? It does not matter how little, how much. It, all that matters is that you utilize it. That's it. Like you just have to use it for your business and get it in front of your customers and it'll work for you, okay? Um, but putting in that work and obviously investing that time to do that is so important. So I'm gonna show you, um, obviously we, we know what the testers look like. We explained that the transition testers were just the new sense and returning sense. So some of you may have gotten your transition scent and been like, I'm missing Luna, black raspberry vanilla, but I have scents that aren't part of the 10 new scents. Yes, you get the 10 new scents plus the scents that are returning from previous years that are considered part of the new spring and summer collection inside that transition set, which is great. So um, hopefully you guys are loving all of those. Obviously, especially if you're new, they all smell so good. That bag is heavenly. I love spring and summer scents when they come around. Um, my nose stays glued into it for sure. Um, so with your testers, obviously like COVID right now, some people are not feeling the whole like smelling 
putting their hands on your testers. Some people in your group may just not want to do that. And that is 100% okay. Um, but you, that does not mean that you can't utilize what you have. Okay, so obviously we have the scent stickers that were available. I know, don't come for me. I know that they sold out really fast. I know that a lot of you did not get all of the tester or the stickers that you needed. I, I get that. I understand. I'm sorry. It is what it is. You can still work your business with three stickers that you can with 10. Okay. Um, because we use what we have. Um, so with those stickers, we know that we can do the cool things like these sheets. If you have all of them, even if you don't have all of them, you guys, even if you only have half of these, you can still put, um, you could put a little note on there that says, don't have these stickers yet. Smells really good. Check out the description in the catalog. Okay. You could do a little post-it note. You could write over it on Avery, um, whatever, but you can still utilize these. Okay? Your customers will still love to smell what you have. And just like with anything, what you promote, what you talk about sells. Okay. So I, I could, I could make a $500 party with three cents. Okay. If I talked about it enough and if I talked about how much I loved it, did a little sniff sesh, even if I just had the stickers or the testers, I, I could do so much with that. So utilize what you have, the stickers, figure out a way to make these work. Just put them in the catalogs, put them right next to their little scent descriptions in the catalogs. And then what are we doing with these? What are you doing with your cast, uh, catalogs? I see so many of you filling them up with stuff, getting them ready to mail out, getting them ready to drop off. That's great. Do you have a plan? Do you have a plan? What are you doing with these? Um, so when I first got my catalogs, I had made a promise to my Vox by Brie VIPs that they were going to be the first ones to get their hands on these catalogs because um, I made it known that they would, that anybody who got my Vox by Brie would get a catalog first. And so they did, they got their catalogs first. And then everybody else um, after that got a catalog who um, my regular customers. And honestly, you guys, the people who are ordering from me, those orders that come through my door and I label and then I send out are my regular customers who I would be sending catalogs to no matter what. Okay. And then just today or uh, yesterday or the day before I put up a post that says, if you've got not gotten a catalog from me yet for the new season, once I have taken care of majority of my regular customers, if you haven't gotten a catalog from me, let me know. Today I got, I'm sending out four more catalogs to customers who are good customers, just not my top customers. And those will be in the mail tomorrow. I am making sure that they are getting hands on this catalog and not only just a catalog, but I am sending them stickers because I do have the stickers. I'm sending them stickers. Um, but even if, even if I only had one, two, or three, those would be inside these catalogs. And I would be asking them, hey, what'd you think of the new scent? Hey, um, did you smell the sticker that's on page? Blah, 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 blah. Talking to my customers about what's inside this catalog, okay? And as you can see, we've talked about this before. I put my um, little thing up here that talks about my favorite things from my catalog, um, all of my favorite things that I want to see or that I want to get is inside of here, okay? I'm making a mess, okay. Also, you have your showcase brochures, which again, if this is your first time with Sensi, this may be like brand new to you, but this is a, um, it's basically a spread out, not as detailed version of our catalog. And it's also really nice because it's super thin um, and cheaper to mail when we're, when we're talking about mailing things um, than a catalog. So you can actually, I just did this. I, I don't do this often, but I assume that again, it would still be cheaper. Um, this you can fold up into a third and it fits inside of a business envelope. So I bet that this would mail for two stamps, maybe a postcard stamp, um, but this, this would mail for cheaper than a bubble mailer, okay? Obviously, mailing is an investment, okay? That is something where um, you're gonna wanna return on the cost that you're doing. Now, all your mailing supplies, envelopes, postage, all of that is a tax write-off. So do understand that um, that cost is not for nothing, but when you are mailing stuff, I, and especially if you're like, 
oh gosh, I really hope this pays off, then you need to be really ridiculously intentional about the follow-ups, okay? Because mailing out samples, mailing out new catalogs, mailing out all these showcase brochures will mean absolutely nothing if you do not follow up with those customers who you sent them to and try to connect with them about placing an order. Okay, that is what matters. And that's across the board samples anytime you're sending stuff out to people that is costing you money, maybe it's pennies for you, maybe it's down to the last $10 that you have, and it means everything, then you need to treat it as such. And you need to make sure that you are working hard to get a return investment on what you are sending out. Okay. Um, and so even, even just putting it inside my customers orders, I mean, these catalogs, you get 25 for what, $10 or $12 or whatever the cost is. I, I want to make sure that I'm getting return investment on that because that's still money out of my pocket that I'm spending on my business that I want to make sure that I see back somehow. Okay. Um, so showcase brochures are really great. I used to not utilize them in my business, but I have found a great place for them. Um, I send them, I will send them to customers who are maybe like my every once in a while customers, or maybe I'm like, oh, I can't remember if I sent them a catalog. So I'm just going to send them a showcase brochure, or especially as we get later on in the season, showcase are showcase brochures are great refreshers. Um, and just a quick glance for customers to be able to look at everything that we have. Okay. Um, again, it's not as detailed as the catalog, but as I just opened it, uh, I noticed that they included some really beautiful pictures on the sides where it shows the warmers um, or no, it shows everything. They, they included some really beautiful pictures on this side that I, that they have not done in the past. That's really beautiful. So um, they have included some really cool things in here that make it pop. Um, and again, it's just a quick glance. Then if we're bringing it way down, not for nothing, I love my product sheets. This is a product sheet, okay? So this is a super condensed version of all of our products. It literally has a list of all of our scents, oils, um, and it has every one of everything that we have. Now, obviously it doesn't show like every single body wash or anything like that, but it does tell you the scents. It has every single warmer, diffuser, all of that, okay? So this is even easier to mail. This for sure folds up nicely into a business size envelope. So again, you could do so much with this and a felt sample of a new scent um, and mailing it to your customers. You could knock out um, a, a whole lot of mailings for customers. And this mails with a felt sample for one stamp. Okay, you can put that in there and it will mail for one stamp with a felt sample. Okay, so you could knock out a whole bunch for if you had $10, $15, $20, you could do a whole lot with this. Okay, um, so I also will put these in customers' orders later on down the road and I stick them in thank you mail all the time. Um, whether I'm doing a bubble envelope or I'm doing this with a scent circle, I stick these in because it's a nice quick glance and sometimes customers really love that. Some sometimes the catalog, as beautiful as it is, can be real overwhelming, okay? Sometimes I'm even, even overwhelmed by it, but this is a nice just look and especially like for warmers like that's what we want people to kind of like focus on it tells you every single warmer right here okay it's got a picture of every single one of them so utilize your product sheets and these are cheap you get like 75 of them um for a i can't remember the price. i think it's nine dollars uh if i remember correctly and so these are great okay so however you choose to use them in your business it does not matter how you use them if you are not investing on the follow-up and the conversations that happen after you send it out, okay? Um, when it comes to going back to um, the tester part of it, like Alex said about doing like a video about a sniff session, do that with your testers. If you don't have the bars, who cares? You have your testers and record a video. Maybe you're scared to go live. That's okay. Maybe you don't want to spend an hour on live smelling the testers. Do a video, pick your 10 favorite scents and smell them on a video and then post it to your VIP. Upload it to Instagram for a reel or whatever you choose to do, but get your customers looking at, even if it's just you smelling the scents, get your customers looking at and hearing and seeing this stuff in person and connecting it to you. 
okay? Um, that's why Alex is going to do her video about smelling the bars because she wants to connect those scents to her personal feelings. Because sometimes it's not enough to just say, these are the 10 new scents. I think I'm gonna like this one, this one, this one. I wanna be able to connect it for my customers who know me, who trust my opinion, who love to hear what I have to say. I want them to be able to see my reaction to these scents. I want them to be able to hear what my descriptors are. And maybe it's different than what the scent description says. How often has that happened, right? Um, and and so put yourself in front of your business with these products as often as possible, okay? And with that being said, if you're going to be mailing out a bunch of stuff, be sure you're taking pictures of it. Take pictures of a selfie with you and all of your happy mail. Take pictures of the confetti that you have all over your desk or your floor, your, your kids helping you stuff these envelopes or putting stickers or stamping labels, whatever you're doing. Take pictures of that, show your customers, show your people, show everybody how fun you're, how much fun you're having working your business and how excited you are about showing your customers all of the fun new things, okay? Um, that's part of having, creating that culture inside your VIP that in time will generate that feel good place that people are gonna wanna be and that continuously provides residual PRV and conversation and relationship, okay? It's those moments that your customers will look forward to and that they'll pay attention to and that they'll comment on and they'll get excited about, okay? So um, that is the business tools that I am utilizing this season. Um, and then one extra thing that I am doing that I think that I shared already, but I am gonna show you is when we're talking about booking parties because now is the time, y'all, to book parties, okay? Hear me loud and clearly. Your customers want to book parties. They just don't know it yet. They don't know that they want to have a party yet. You want to know why? Because your customers want warmers that are in here. Your customers want that new diffuser. Your customers want a bunch of wax, okay? But more than likely they're like, mm, can I spend a hundred dollars getting all that stuff right now, right? They probably can't, maybe they will, I don't know, but they want all of that stuff. But what they would want more is what you can provide to them that you're not talking about yet. And that is all of their stuff for free and half off. See, that's the thing is that your customers, um, I feel like our customers sometimes have short-term memory and they forget that like, that opportunity to have a party is always open. And so um, it is your job, just like Sensi Club and everything else, it is your job to remind them and have that be at the forefront of every conversation. I think it was at SFR one year that they said, well, maybe it was World Tour, where they talked about flipping the script. And instead of doing the buy, host, join, they said to flip it on its head and do the join, host, buy conversation, right? So, I mean, yeah, talk to your customers about joining, but if you're going to skip that step, maybe then talk about join uh, about hosting a party. Okay. So when your customers are commenting on your showcase stuff, or um, you're following up with them after you sent them a catalog and they're like, oh my gosh, I really love the opulence warmer. I really want that. Um, I'm going to have to wait till payday. Do you think it will sell out? Blah, blah, blah. That is your entry into asking them if they want to host some kind of, I'm, I'm going to try to leave the word party out, right? Because we're trying to like revamp our language, but asking them to host some kind of thing where they can get that warmer, those bars, whatever for free and half off is your job. That is your job. And your customers want nothing more than to be able to get it for free or half off. Like, don't you want that? Like that is why you're working so hard to collect orders right now. So you can get everything you want out of this catalog for free and half off. Like, come on. So why are you not offering that to your customers? Um, so what I did inside of my catalogs with the scavenger hunt, because on the scavenger hunt page, and you don't have to do it with the scavenger hunt. It doesn't matter if you don't do that part of it, because here's the cool thing. You could, what you could do is put it, your host brochure, which I don't have handy, but put, put a host brochure on this page and you don't need this cool little scratch off. Okay. You don't need this, but this is just what I did. Cause I already had scratch offs. Um, 
put a piece of paper, some kind of paper on this page where it talks about hosting a party so that they are forced to open it. Okay, a join brochure, your story rack card, um, the scent of the month brochure, whatever, the scent sticker things, put it on this page. So they are forced to, and they're like, oh, what is this? They're forced to open it. Okay, and when they open it, they're either going to see the scratch off card or a note, or you can write on the page. I don't care, like do whatever you want. But on mine, on the scavenger hunt, it asks them how much are the kits. So they have to turn to this page and they have to look at it. And when they did, they found a scratch off card. And on the scratch off card was an incentive for booking a party. So I had to write in because I don't, I didn't know how to edit this one. Um, and I said, scratch this off and find out what you can redeem at your party, what prize you can redeem at your party. So when they scratched it off, I had included incentives under this scratcher that I was okay providing. Okay, very important. I was okay providing at the end of a qualifying party for whoever booked a party. Okay, this was my booking blitz. I wanted my customers to get excited about booking a party and I wanted to do it in a mass way. And so my customers scratched this off and saw free, free six pack of bars, a free counter clean, an additional $20 in free credit. Whatever I was okay giving, I kind of mixed it up and put them inside here. I don't know who got what. I don't know who gets it until they scratch it off and send me a picture. But they were forced to turn to this page and they were for and, and they got excited about scratching it off. If you do a post-it note, doesn't matter. They're forced to see it. Okay. And when somebody said when somebody sees I get a free mini warmer for hosting a party. Oh, and then I can get four half offs or three half offs at a five hundred dollar party. Tell me more about this. How do I do this? How do I get that? Because this catalog is full of stuff that I want. Okay. So if you've already sent out your catalogs and you're like, okay, well, how do I implement that now? In your follow-ups that you are going to do with your customers about, hey, what do you think of the new catalog? What sense did you love? Right? Because investing that time is important. You can, you can say something about it then. You can be like, hey, I don't know if you turned to page blah -de blah 59 and looked at the host rewards, but like our host rewards are like bomb.com. And I just want to let you know that like, if you are interested in having a game night on Zoom, or if you're interested in getting, having a personal shopping link or a personal shopping event on Facebook, um, I'll throw in an additional $20 for you. And that, and that's how you incentivize booking parties. Okay. Um, if you're not wanting to incentivize people, if you're like, I'm not really in a position where I can just be giving things away, let me just remind you that that perpetual party reward, that is the purpose for it, okay? That perpetual party reward, for you newbies, you may not know, this is an additional half off that is included on every qualifying party, and um, it is for you to use when you are the host, you can use it however you see fit. But in situations like this, where you are asking somebody to host a party and they do and they have a qualifying party, you can incentivize them. And that's why I say at the end of a qualifying party, because they don't get it if it doesn't qualify because that perpetual party reward is not available unless the party hits 200. But at that point, I can get whatever I whatever I told them I'd give them for half the price. So when I say you get a free six pack of bars, I'm not spending $30 out of my own pocket for your free six pack of bars. I'm spending $15, okay? Because I just got it half off from that perpetual party reward inside your party. Your people don't know that. It doesn't matter that they don't know that. You're not cheating the system. You're not doing anything wrong. That is the purpose for it, okay? So- utilizing that perpetual party reward. So you guys, I mean, yeah, you may be tight strapped for money. And if you are, then there are a lot of other ways that we can discuss. I may not go into it tonight, but there are a lot of other ways that you can um, get people to book parties. But let's just recognize that if somebody hosts a $200 party for you and you say that you'll give them a free counter clean, you just spent $5. You will make five times that in commissions. Okay, so this is another situation where the investment pays off. Okay, you you are you are in the position where you can say, out of this commissions, I have spent five dollars. 
of this commissions on a counter clean, a free counter clean. Okay. If you are running the numbers, then make sure that you analyze. Again, we're talking about the end of a party. So if you're, if you're like, hostess goes crazy and she's got a $500 party y'all you just made out like a bandit spending five dollars on this party to reward your hostess and solidify a customer and probably people within her group as you as her consultant because you just went above and beyond you just provided her with an extra that you paid half price for she doesn't know but it feels like extra and it feels like really amazing customer service okay so I love incentivizing, but the bottom line is you guys, whether you incentivize or not, the purpose of booking or the purpose of this and the, the thing I want you to hear very clearly is that it will not happen unless you ask. Will not happen unless you ask. You have to have those conversations. And right now is the best time. People want what's in here and people want it for free or half off. And majority of those people will not come to you and ask for it because they have short-term memory and they forget. But it is your job as the consultant to make sure that you are always providing the best customer service. And that does not mean prettying up the bags and writing pretty thank you cards and doing all of that. That means providing them opportunities to take advantage of everything Sensi has provided them as a means to enliven their sentence, uh, enliven their senses. Okay. That is, that is the goal, right? Put Sensi into their life. How do we do that in the best way possible? Providing them the avenues that is, provides the best customer service. Okay. So you are doing a disservice to your customers. If you are not asking them about booking some kind of event for them. Okay. All right, I'm done, tapping out. No, I'm just kidding, I love you guys, but I think that's the end of mine. Yeah, that was good and also true. So guys, um, I hope that this was helpful for you guys. Um, I hope that this gave you guys like actual content that you can take into tomorrow. Okay. Um, I know sometimes trainings can be very motivational, but it's like, okay, that was great. Right. Um, so I'm all about giving tangible information that you can take into tomorrow. And so I hope that this was really helpful for you guys. And if you guys have any questions, just drop them in the um, chat box. But I loved the conversation over in the chat box tonight too. Lots of different ideas, lots of problem solving going on. Um, and I just want to say like, I love this group. I love this team. We have something so special here, you guys. Um, and I love that we get to come together and talk and share Sensi. And we're all so supportive and helpful. Um, and we're, we're really lucky and I'm really proud of our team culture. And I just wanted to say like, thank you for showing up to your business and for showing up for one another. And whether we're on direct teams or we sponsor them or whatever, we're all just so extremely helpful. The true definition of a Sensi family is just right here. Um, and so I just love you guys and I'm so thankful for you guys. Um, I did want to give you guys a few announcements. Um, if you have a pen and paper, jot down the dates um, February 9th and February 23rd. Those are our upcoming dream team chats. So the 9th and the 23rd. So it's always the second and fourth Tuesday of every month. Um, I would love to at some point be able to make it an every month thing, but right now we're, we are rocking out with the um, second and fourth. So February 9th and 23rd, we will see you guys here on Zoom again, um, same time and everything. Also, my other reminder is that if you registered for World Tour, please remember that there are tons of breakouts available still for the next um, 20 six days or so. Um, if you go to the website that was sent to you in your email and there's a breakouts tab, there is training on sales, recruiting, systems, everything for your business, all the important stuff, it's in there. So um, 
when you have downtime, when you're driving or washing dishes or in the shower, I prop my phone up on my little towel drying rack and I like listen to trainings. Um, you guys, we have to get it in where you can. It's not something always that you have to be watching it. Sometimes listening is just perfectly fine. So um, just remember that um, those are still available for you guys, okay? Um, Brandy is saying, don't put yourself out for these booking specials. Any type of incentive is exciting for your customers. You don't have to use the same thing other people are using, even a bar or something small works. Yeah, for sure, dude. You can even just say an extra half off credit and just give them the perpetual and they pay for their own extra half off credit, you know? Um, so that's very true, Brandy, for sure. I mean, we're in this business to make money. And so if you are at a point where you are not making money and you're just spending, 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 you can absolutely reevaluate and readjust 100%. You should not be going broke doing Sensi. You have to look at it because I, at the beginning of my business, I will 100% admit I was spending way too much money on Sensi, right? Like, buying it in business tools and all the things. Okay. It took me a good few years to get into a good business mindset. And even still, I have to remind myself like, no, I don't need that. I don't need to go impulse shop. I don't need to do all that. Okay. Simplicity is a core value for a reason. Okay. So very good point. You guys, yes. Focus on one thing and then excel at it then move to the next 100% Erica. We cannot juggle all the things, especially all the new things. So, you know, add one ball in and juggle it to where you got it really good and then add another. Okay. So you guys are awesome. So awesome. Please, you guys, as you're working your business tomorrow in the next week, month, year to come, snap some pictures as you're working and use hashtag how I'm working and show us how you're working. Okay. Tell us what you're doing, how you're doing it. Maybe the products or uh, the business tools or the Amazon things you're using, show us. This is how people learn. Um, I get so inspired by you guys and get so many good ideas. So just be sure to share it. Use the hashtag how I'm working. And um, yeah, so I think that's it. I will see you guys all tomorrow morning on the team page. Again, thank you so much for jumping on and spending time with us. I appreciate you guys so much. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side. All right. Bye, y'all. Have a good night.